I grew up on a farm and we had acres of uh, Gravenstein's peaches apricots and I still remember just laying on my back under the trees eating those first Gravensteins that come down or eating the peaches, the sound of the bees buzzing. Right now you're in Parkdale. It's the upper end of the Hood River Valley, right next to the, the base of the Timberline of Mount Hood. I'm a third generation orchardist here in the Hood River Valley. Uh, my grandfather came over in 1908 and worked his way like a lot of the Japanese and immigrants and the Chinese before them in the railroad industry. So in 1911, that's when we consider we started farming. Mm. Definitely crunchy. Wow, that is incredibly good. You know, the times when you've brought me boxes of pears and apples to the restaurant, mm -hmm. that's just wonderful, because I know that they're, they're hand-picked, they're in the box, they're fresh, and I really appreciate that. I don't think you'd find a, a chef in the valley who would turn you away if you showed up at the back door with a, a lug of fruit. The Hooter Valley is such a unique area. People think of it as an apple growing district, but mainly we grow pears. The great thing about pears for me from a chef perspective is that you get such a different feel or taste from them depending on the variety. All pears really do taste really different to me. Mm -hmm. The comice, I think, is my favorite oh, because yeah. it has that little tart sweetness like an early apple. Well, this dish, I guess, could be well, best described as my ode to Oregon Fall. Most simply put, I only do this when chanterelles are available and the pears are in season. Well, you know, the world is full of cooks, and Nathan has an intense love and passion for food, and it just so happens that we kind of have a Spock mind link about what tastes good together. What the pear does is just adds a very uh, a light freshness uh, to the dish. And it's actually just a more natural pear flavor that is going to help bring out the flavor of the fish and the mushrooms. I grew up in a family of what we would today call foodies. We had our own chickens, our own goats, we had bees for honey, and we, we cooked from what grew and came from around us. And so that was how I was raised. It's what I knew. And it's my opportunity now to take all of that passion from my childhood and bring the bounty of Oregon to the tables in our restaurant.